Hello, we're going to take a look at how to tune a bass with a, a, a tuning app on your mobile phone. So I hope this video is a help if, you're not, if you don't really know how to tune a bass at all, uh, or if you're a beginner how to, how to do it, or maybe you can already do it fairly well, uh, but maybe there might be some little tip that might be useful. I don't know. There are different ways to tune a bass, but we're going to look at one way to do it today with this tuning app. The app I'm using is called G Strings. Uh, it's available for iPhone and for Android. I think it's available for iPhone, I hope so. Uh, certainly Android. If you have a different app, it'll probably behave very, very similar. Uh, so we're going to take a, look, take a look though today at this um, G Strings app. So uh, the first thing uh, we, we can see on the right hand side of the screen here, a uh, little green strip, um, a little slider there. I just touched it, pull it out. Uh, it's on manual at the moment. I want to touch that again and set it to auto. The other setting I'm going to go at is I'm going to go to instrument at the top here. And I'm going to put that to double bass. It may not matter too much if you do this, but if it's not working terribly well, put it to double bass. So press the back button. Again, there we are back at the tuning app. Okay, so uh, I'm now going to have, just have a little play and see how my bass is doing. Bottom string is the E string. So I can see at the top that it's reading E1, that's what I want. Uh, the needle was quite a bit off to the left, let's get to that in a minute. Next string is the A string, it's reading A, that's good, but the needle quite a bit off to the right. D, a little bit off to the right, and this should be G. But something has happened and it's just reading F sharp. Okay, so let's start with the E string. Let's start with the lowest. So that's telling me that the, the pitch is a bit low because the needle is below the center there. I'm going to turn my, my gear here, my peg, my tuning peg. Uh, I'll be turning it anti-clockwise, winding it up if you like. I don't see any movement yet in this space. I need to move a relative, quite a good bit before very much happens. Sometimes you just touch it and it jumps right up in pitch. But go slowly. Still very slow to move, but keep on, keep on going slowly. Nearly there now, nearly there. So there we are, uh, E string is in tune. Uh, it, by the way, with this peg here, it should be on most bases, it's gonna be that one. It goes around the lowest string, the next highest one. So E, A, D will be here and G. But you can check here, you can see which string goes on to what, uh, what tuning peg. Right, let's go for the A string. So it's reading A, now I need to tune this one down. I recommend, if it's too high, do, do go quickly and bring it right down until it's too low. And then slowly up. It's getting closer, but don't be tempted to turn it too much, just a little bit at a time. It can always waver a bit, it goes up and down, even if I don't touch it. So I'm going to go with that, I'm going to go with that. Maybe is it a teeny bit high? Ever so slightly, if I, but, but really if I've got it that close, it's hard to get it closer than that. So I'm going to go with that for my A. Again, the D is a bit high. I'm going to bring it down. There it is, too low. So up we go, higher. Slowly, slowly, slowly. There's my D. Okay, I'm really happy with that. 
This often happens with a base if it's been maybe in a car or something. Uh, these get knocked in transport and maybe one string can be quite a bit out. Uh, in this case, it's the G string. It's reading F sharp. It's only a semitone lower than, than the G. Um, but I need to give this one certainly more, more of a, a tuning up. So it's now reading, reading too high, but remember that's an F sharp that's too high. It needs to go right up to a G. So it's not recognizing it as a G yet. There we go. It's now reading that as a G, G2, that's what I want. But of course it's, a, it's too low for a G. For an in tune G, I should say. So there I go turning. Don't be afraid, don't be afraid. So there we go, there we go. So that F sharp was, uh, that G string was so far out, I'm just gonna check the other strings because moving it so much could have knocked actually the stability of the tuning out on the other strings. Okay, E is really good still. A is very good. Yeah, D is really good. So G, also very good. Okay, they stayed nice and stable for me right in the middle. Uh, sometimes they'll wobble a bit, but don't worry too much if it's going a little bit above and then without touching it goes a little bit below. Uh, that's okay. But try and bow as even as you can. Don't press too hard. And you'll get a nice true reading. So I hope that helps. And uh, get in touch whatever way you can if I can, if we can help you out more there, good luck with tuning your bass.